morning everybody welcome 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 nutty buddy nation how are you guys doing today i hope y'all are coming in clear let me check Let me check and see if y'all coming in clear. See if we can get a reception where we're at. I don't know. Let me see if we coming in clear. I think I made it public. Let me see how I'm coming in. Mm. It looks like it's going to be buffering. Hold on. Okay, let me see. It looks like it's going to be buffering. Hold on. Okay, I think it's coming in clear. Y'all thumbs up the live stream. If y'all can see and hear me, fine. Let me see. It looks like it's going to be buffering. Hold on. Okay, I think it's coming in clear. If y'all can see me and hear me, fine. If y'all could see me and hear me fine, good morning, good morning, happy Sunday to you. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. This morning, I want to talk about lies. Lies have no expiration date, and the truth always prevail. A liar will not make it into the kingdom of some people want to get mad at you because the word is the word. Some people are not trying to live by the word. Some people are not trying to live according to the word of God. And therefore, they have a problem with the word of God. You can't shoot the messenger. You just got to accept the message. So if the word comes from the Bible... It's your responsibility for yourself, uh, and it's your responsibility to take heed to the word. Nobody don't have a heaven or hell to put nobody else in. I don't have a heaven or hell to put nobody else in. I am not God. I am just a messenger, as you should be as well. You should be living according to to the will of God for your life, because God has a different will for everybody's life, you should be living according to the will of God for your life, according to his word. The Bible says that you are responsible for your own soul salvation. I don't know if anybody have a scripture for today to share. If you do, uh, DM to me on Instagram. Um, some want to act like that because another person chooses to live holy, choose to live righteous, that that person act like other people can't make it to heaven. You can make it to heaven. Are you trying to make it to heaven? Are you trying to live according to the will of God? Are you putting God first in your life? God say, I'm holy. So you can't get mad at somebody else because they have the spirit of God in them and they choose to live for Jesus and you choose 
to be a Jezebel. You can't get mad at somebody else because they love the Lord and they want to serve God with their whole heart. We are all free to live our lives. Y'all, my stomach is cutting over here. We are all free to live our lives as we want to. God does not force his will on anyone. Reject the word because you hear the truth and you continue to reject the truth. Those things are going to be held against you when God judges you because you will not be able to say, I didn't know. So every time you hear the word, even if it comes from somewhere that you don't want to hear it from, every time you hear the word of God and you reject the word, you reject to align your life with the truth of God's word, that will be held, a, you will be held accountable for hearing that word. People want to make light of the word of God, but the word of God is truth. It is life. Like, why wouldn't you want to embrace everlasting life? God said he cannot lie. God does not like liars. He said he cannot lie. God said that a liar would not be in his presence, would not be in his midst. God said liars will be stopped. It's funny how people think, oh, a lie is cute. A lie is fun. People's lives can be destroyed with lies. People's lives can be destroyed with your lie. So if you got somebody lying on you, just know that God does not take that lightly. And a lie never expires. Once you've told a lie, you come back to correct the lie. Lies don't expire. And if you told a lie before and you continue to perpetuate that same lie over and over and over and over again. God is definitely going to hold you accountable. God is definitely going to hold you accountable for those lies. So you let people kick, scream, shout, gang bang. You let people conjure up lies. You let people plot and plan lies. Every liar is going to be held accountable for every untruth that they speak. People, they could get to believe that lie. It doesn't matter how many people they could repeat, get to repeat that lie. It doesn't matter how many times they repeat the lie. A lie is a lie. And God will judge all liars. God will judge all liars. Why lie when you're going to pay an ultimate price for that lie? Some of you guys, God has given a chance after a chance after a chance, and God has given you years to get yourself right with him. You still playing 
with fire. You still rejecting God. You still straddling the fence. Let me see uh, if anybody has sent me a scripture on Instagram for today's reading. I think uh, a couple of people did send me some scriptures the other day. Let me see. Um, did we read? Somebody else had suggested some scripture. I don't remember what they were. Psalms 109. We did read Psalms 109 the other day. Let me, um, read that again. Hey, Siri. Uh -huh. King James Version, Psalms 109. Hey, Siri. Uh -huh. King James Version, Psalms 109. Uh, Psalms 109. Behold not thy peace, O Lord. Hold not thy peace, O Lord. Hold not thy peace, O God, of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love that are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned and let his prayers become sin. Let his days be few and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and let his wife be a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg and let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let, let the extortioner cast, catch all that he had and let the strangers spoil his labor. Let there be none that extend mercy unto him Neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his pos posterity, prosperity 
be cut off and in the generations flowing, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his father be remembered with the Lord and let him that sin on his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually that may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Because that he remembered not to show mercy, but prosecuted the poor and the needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. And he loved cursing, so they so let it come unto him. And he delighted in not blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing like with his garments, so let it come unto him, his boils like water and oil into his bones. Let it be unto him as a garment which covereth him for a griddle wherein he is gritted continually. Let this be the reward of my adversaries from the Lord and them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O Lord, for thou name's sake, because thy mercies is good, deliver thy me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within. I am gone like the shadows with, when it declineth. I am tossed up and down as a locust. My knees are weak from fat through fasting, and my flesh faileth of fatness. I have have become also a reproach unto them O oh, save me according to thy mercy that they may have they may know that this is thy hand hath done it let them curse but bless thy when they arise let them be ashamed, but let the, thy servant rejoice. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame and let them cover themselves with their own confusion and with their mantle and with a, let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth Yes, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. Hmm. You that sin, that lie, that try to destroy others. You just not going to pay for that sin. That sin falls on your seed. That sin falls on your seed. Of my praise. Mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the have spoken against me lying. also with words of hatred fought against me with no cease mm -mm -mm. Father God they have surrounded me with lies with confusion with no cease no cease 
and they have fought against me with words of hatred with no cease. For my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. Sometimes you try to speak the truth to people. Sometimes you pray for people and they become your enemy because you try to impart truth and wisdom to them because you choose to be holy and they choose to be evil and wicked. They want to attack you, want to lie on you, want to make you evil because they haven't God doesn't repay evil with good. God repays evil with evil and good for good. If you are good, you don't have to do evil to try to prove somebody else is evil. Me, I don't have to lift a finger to prove that my enemies are wicked and evil. Look at their actions. Look at their words, look at their deeds, look at their campaign against me. Look at them putting side by side pictures of me and the devil, but they are the ones that's Satan. They are the ones that's doing the work of Satan. They are the ones that's doing devilish works. They are the ones that are calling people and telling them things about me and stalking me in real time. They are the ones that are rising up against me with no ask yourself what is the reason for the campaign in this season what is the reason for somebody to speak their lies against me that they told over two years ago and to repeat them again in 2004 ask yourself what is the reason for somebody who claims that they are a good person to go and participate with groups that are trying to tear a person down. What is the reason for that? And how could those actions be considered good? The Bible says that the devil will call those things that are good evil and those things that are evil good. Why is it that people want you to believe that I am evil, yet they are doing evil works against me, plotting, planning, trying to set me up? If I tell y'all how many people done contacted me, done called me, done tried to set me up, they all over there with the, those group of people. And they're angry and they're mad because, see, the devil gets angry and matter at you every time he tried to put a pitfall in your way but God doesn't allow you to fall into that pit the devil gets mad like in Psalms 35 when they say at the net that he set up for you to fall in that he's gonna fall in that same net you want to know why I'm not falling in the nets and the plots and the plans that you guys are trying to set up for me because you're setting them up for yourself and not for me. When you have to go out of your way to hurt somebody, when you have to go out of your way to frame somebody, when you have to go out of your way to try to set somebody up, you, God is not going to let that person fall for that. You are setting your own self up. And your seed is going to pay for your sin. Here he says. Yo, yo, yo. Your seed is going to pay for your sin. Let his days be few and let another take his place. Let his children be fatherless and let his wife be widows. So 
some of y'all are sinning against a child of God. And for that, your children are going to be fatherless. And your husband or your wife going to be widows. What evil. And fire. Runs through your blood. That attacking someone else. And trying to destroy someone else. Is worth you making your children fatherless and your husband or your wife a widow. Every day you wake up, every day God, you breath in your body. It's another day to repent. It's another day to from sin. It's another day to stop doing evil it's another day to choose to do good and not evil it's another day to choose life and not death some of you every day you wake up you choose death over life by choosing to do wrong me I'm over here minding my own business and I am choosing to wake up every day praising the Lord, thanking him, worshiping him, trying to enjoy life to the level that it brings me peace and happiness. I'm not trying to compete with anybody else's lifestyle. If I wanted to be living in a house, I would be living in a house. Y'all thumbs up the video. If I wanted to be doing what other people are doing, I would be doing it. I have no reason to hate on anyone else because God renews my strength, gives me life. God blesses me. He has blessed me. You know why people are making fun of what somebody else has? Sometimes you listen to people and you think, oh, this person is a good person. But you're not listening to what those people are saying. Good People produce good fruit. Good people produce good fruit. What good person is sitting up making fun of somebody's looks, somebody's disability? And some of these same evil, wicked people make fun of me day in and day out. And the minute somebody says something about the way that they look, the minute somebody says something about the way that they look, that person is evil. How come it is that you people that follow these people see other people's evil, but you don't see theirs? They make fun of me day in and day out. They talk about my health, which they think is my health. They talk about uh, my weight, and they weigh more than me, two, three times more than me. They talk about my looks, and 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 they have never been cute. You know, they say all babies are cute. When they was born, they wasn't even cute when they was born. I'm just saying that they can talk about me, but then when somebody says something about their appearance. That person is evil. But they sit up and they make fun of me. They sit up and they talk about my disabilities. They sit up and they make fun of my van. They make fun of everything I own, everything that God has blessed me with. They belittle 
the things that God has given me for my life to put themselves on a pedestal as if what they have is better than what I have. What did you do to get what you got? See, what I got is from God. What I got is the blessings of God blessing my life every day. I have a roof over my head. My van is my home. I have a roof over my head. Why would you good-hearted people be making fun of somebody's roof over their head that God gave them? God gave this van. God bless me with this van. God bless me with my health. God bless me with my strength. Why is it you can think that what is better than what I have? What did you do to get what you have? Did it come from God? You're lying. You're sleeping with people outside of marriage because you're money hungry and you're greedy. You're selling your soul to the devil. You're... you're your own only fans <laughs> uh doing ungodly things to get money and the things that you get and the way that you come about getting them you can't compare what i have to what you have when i'm relying on god to bless me and it's funny how these same people will say I'm a scammer, I'm a schemer uh, because my subscribers bless me, because my subscribers send me gifts, because my subscribers send me cash apps, but they get cash apps. People paying you behind the scenes to bully me and attack me. Don't think God don't know. Don't, don't think God don't know about every transaction. Don't think God don't know about every cash app that you get that people say, keep your foot on her neck. Don't think God don't know about that. See, ill-gotten gain will get you a place in hell. Everything you say about me, everything you do to me is for a click, is for a view, is for monetary gain. It's to make you feel better about yourself. When you talk about me, when you talk about my neck, when you talk about my eye, when you talk about my hair, when you talk about anything about me, it's to make you feel better about yourself don't have to speak on you people at all wouldn't thinking about you don't have to speak on you but why is it that you good hearted people have to speak on me Why is it that you have to wait till I get featured on Tiny Home Tours again for you to go all in to try to destroy me? Oh, you're scared when I get that next van? You're scared when I build that next van out? I'm going to be on Tiny Home Tours again? You're trying to prevent me from getting my next vehicle. You just don't know a vehicle could fall out the sky. You just don't know somebody could call me tomorrow and give me a van, a school bus, an RV. You just don't know that the more you spin your wheels, the wheels on the bus go round and round. The more you stay up, the more you try to plot and plan against me, God is working on my behalf. God is going to bless me in a mighty, miraculous way. 
God blesses me every morning. I don't need material things. I don't need physical looks to say I'm blessed. I don't need to come on here and flaunt purses and bags and hair and nails and cars to say I'm blessed. A truly blessed person knows their value and their blessings without materialistic things. I am in the Lord. My soul is blessed. My soul is happy. A person that is blessed don't have to try to put a stumbling block in the path of someone else. Why are you so pressed about me being blessed? Why are you so pressed about trying to stop my blessings? Why? Every life, every campaign that you try to rise up against me, it's going to return to your house. Life. You're going to reap what you sow. Sins are going to fall on your seed to make happen in my life. It's going to happen to you. When you stand before, what, what? What does it get? What does it profit a man to gain the whole world? What is it that you're trying to accomplish on this earth that you are going to lose your whole soul? What is it? What good does it do? What what good does it profit a man to gain the whole world but to lose his soul? What good does it do to get people to believe your lies? when you will have to give an account of them? What good does it do when you convince people of your lies, but then when God exposed the truth, everybody that believed your lie is going to curse you. Everybody that believes your lie is going to turn on you. Every pitfall that you set up for me and anyone else, you're going to fall in that pit. And God is going to lift that you are trying to tear down. God is going to lift them up. They're always going to be above you. They're always going to be and not the tail. Just the mere fact that you're trying to pull somebody down shows they're already above you. Nobody tries to tell anybody or anything that is not of them. The mere fact that you're trying to tear me down with lies and attack me shows that I'm above you. I will always be above you. I will always be the head and not the tail. You want to know why? Because I don't have to try to pull nobody else down. Because I don't have to try to lie on nobody else. Because I don't have to try to hate on nobody else. Speaking God's truth is not hating against you. Trying to get you to see the word of God. And trying to get you to love God with all your heart. And turn from your evil, wicked sins. That's not hating on you. But the things that you people do to me, that's pure Hatred. And I will always be the head. No matter how far you think I'm behind, I will always be the head. I'm the head right now. <laughs> I'm a head right now. See, y'all think that I'm behind because y'all got a gang of people working with you. I'm not behind. I'm a head, baby. I'm a head because faith, my trust, I got my eyes on God. 
God is where my help, my health, and my strength comes from. I could never be behind with God fighting my battles. I could never be behind with God hearing and seeing everything that you guys do behind the scenes. I could never be behind. I could never be behind when you will reap what you sow. I will not lean to my own understanding. I will not fight my battles with my own flesh. I will not take vengeance against you with my own hands. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. And my vengeance for what you're doing to me is going to come from God to you. Every smile, every smirk. Some of you take pride in being deceptive. Some of you take pride. It's a, even when you're telling your lies, it's a little smirk on your face. You get hyped up because you have an audience. You crave for attention. You crave for praise. You have to put others down so others can lift you up. But see, if it ain't God that's doing the lifting, <laughs> if God ain't doing the lifting, it's for nothing. If God ain't praising you and patting you on the back and saying, well done, my good and faithful servant, what is it that you're doing? What is it that you're saying about me? That God is saying, well done. Good job. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah, you got people watching you. Yeah, you got people telling you, oh, good job, good job, good job. But it's God saying, good job. Those live streams you doing about me an hour, two hours talking about me, belittling me through the whole live streams is God saying, well done. That's all that matter to me. Is God saying well done? And see, when I do something out of character, God checks my spirit. How come God ain't checking y'all spirit? How come two and three years done went by with in the same lies, doing the same things, plotting and planning, and God ain't never checked your spirit and said, that's not right. Don't do that. How come you done went from bad to worse? You not even concerned about where your spiritual walk with God has gone and whether or not your walk with God has gotten better or gotten worse. You have went from bad to worse. And the more you continue to disregard the word of God, the more you continue to disregard right from wrong, you're getting farther and farther away from God. This not about me. This is not about your hatred for me. This is not about you exposing me. This is about you exposing who you are. This is about you showing God what you are capable of. This is about you showing God how you will totally disregard him. 
This is about you showing God what lengths you would go to for fame, for fortune, for recognition, for praise. This is about you showing God how you will reject a truth to tell a lie. Mm, mm, mm. This ain't about me. This is not about me. This is about, the Bible say, love your neighbor as he loves you. This is about you showing God that you demonstrate love. Are you demonstrating love towards me? Are you demonstrating hatred towards me? I'm sorry that the light in me, I'm sorry that the Jesus in me, I'm sorry that the hope in me, the morals in me, the peace in me rub you the wrong way. I'm sorry, but I ain't sorry. Because maybe if you get your life in line with the word of God, then nothing that I'm doing by minding my own business would bother you. Why is it that somebody living their life and minding their business should bother you? What other people do and how they live their life don't bother me. If you live your life in a way that I don't want to partake in and I don't want to be around, I will exit stage left and let you live your life the way you want to live your life. If you want to put drugs in your body, if you want to put alcohol in your body, if you want to put the works of Satan in your mouth and speak lies, If you want to sell your soul to the devil, if you want to do OnlyFans, that's your business. Whatever it is you want to do to your body, to your looks, to your life, that is your business. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I can talk about what I want to talk about on the channel to encourage people not to go down a path that is going to lead to destruction. You know, there are people that are doing things out there that cause them health issues. They're trying to uh, keep up with society they're trying all of these weight loss things and weight loss surgeries and injections and 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 all of these surgeries to change who they are because they want to be something that they're not they want to be better than what they are but they're not willing to work for it so they take the quick and easy way out it's people that's losing their lives every day some come out of those surgeries a-okay and some die on the table that's a chance you have to take but god might be trying to stop somebody from going down that path there are several subscribers that I had years ago. Vanessa ain't just started talking about this kind of stuff. Vanessa been talking about this kind of stuff for years. There are several subscribers that I had years ago who, and people I knew in real life, who wanted to do certain kinds of surgeries. And I tried to encourage them, go about it the natural way, go about it. You know, let God strengthen you. Find the strength 
to take this journey for your health to learn how to the to learn the discipline on how to get to where you're trying to go the natural way and they was like oh no i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and they had those surgeries and those people are not here today they're not here as a direct result of the surgeries that they had if i can encourage somebody to eat right to be healthy to exercise to do natural remedies to take care of yourself naturally to build the body you want through exercise if i can encourage somebody to do that it's no dig at nobody else but it is encouragement to somebody else that may get on that table and not wake up tomorrow some people have done want something so bad they're willing to do any and everything for it. Some of these women out here want these bodies that God didn't give them and they didn't work for. They want these bodies and these physiques and they're willing to do any and everything for it. They are allowing people to take silicone, the Home Depot silicone, and inject it into their bodies and they walk around here making you think they have great self-esteem. They walk around here making you think they're pretty and they're gorgeous and they're beautiful, but they didn't even like their own selves. They had to get somebody to inject their body with silicone to try to be somebody that they're not, but yet they want to make fun of people who love themselves just the way they are. I love myself. I love Vanessa. Anything I want to change about Vanessa, Vanessa going to exercise. Vanessa going to work out. Vanessa going to eat right. Vanessa ain't going to lay down on nobody's table and let nobody inject my body with silicone because I want a bigger booty. ain't down the table let them inject me with 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 foreign no and if that's what you do that is your business but it's also my business if i want to talk to my audience and use my platform and say go the natural way do the natural thing. Why is it that things that I say on my channel bother you or irk you? Or why is it that you have to use things that I say on my channel to refer to your own self? That You got a problem with yourself. Just don't, you don't want to admit it. You got a problem with yourself. If you so, uh, if you have so much self-esteem about yourself, you wouldn't even have to address nothing that Vanessa is saying over here. What I say over here is not for the people that choose to, to, to live high, contrary to the things that I'm talking about. Maybe somebody is contemplating a surgery or a procedure and maybe they're gonna get on that table and not make it through that surgery and that procedure. And maybe God is using me to say, to give them maybe they've already had second thoughts about the surgery and maybe god is using what i'm saying today to make them say no i don't need to do that but because it's so many people out there let me tell y'all this these people that have these surgeries these people that get these injections with silicone they won't even tell you what they did they'll make you think they went and paid for a BBL. 
but they really had injections of silicone in their body. And you're sitting up here glorifying their shape and their physique and they have silicone in their body and they're sick. See, they'll tell you the part that make them look good, but they won't tell you the part that make them look bad. They won't tell you that they were sick. They won't tell you that they had to have a surgery to reverse the effects of the silicone in their body. They won't tell you that they were so desperate to be somebody that they weren't. They won't tell you that they wanted to, to have a baddie body so bad that they laid on a table and let people put silicone in their body. And you guys are praising all of these people in America that are doing things that they're defiling the temple of God. You're letting people put foreign substances in your body. That's going to cause you to have medical illness and sicknesses down the line, all because you want to look a certain way, all because you want to be perceived a certain way, all because you don't think you're good enough, all because you don't think you're pretty enough, because if you thought you was pretty enough and fine enough, you wouldn't have to do all that. People are angry and upset with you because you like yourself the way you are, because you love yourself the way you are, because you have the willpower that if you wanted to change anything about yourself, you could exercise and eat properly to get there. They are mad because they didn't have the willpower to do that. They are mad because they had to go sell their souls to the devil some women are doing any and everything just to come up with the money to get the surgeries. Some women are doing any and everything to get the look like they had the surgery when they are putting silicone in their bodies and almost losing their lives. But then you got these people that have done that, that have put silicone in their bodies and they, and they, and they, praise their physique and their shape and they won't even be honest about it they won't even tell you i put silicone in my body they won't even tell you it was making me sick they won't even tell you i had to have a surgery and take it out they won't speak the truth about their life but they want to try to expose other people. I encourage you people today, I've said this multiple times on my, on my channel. That's one reason why when I was doing mukbangs, I did healthy mukbangs. I couldn't afford to eat out. I didn't have an income. I was going to the food pantry. I was having to eat the food that I was getting from the food pantry. And I chose to show people a healthier way. I ate a lot of salads. I chose to show people the healthier way to enjoy food, to have a healthy relationship with food. I'm going to show people how to exercise to get to the body that you want. You could have whatever body you want. You could work your way to that. It's more gratification in working for what you want exercising for what you want then going under a knife or letting somebody insert silicone into your body if you choose to go that route 
that is your business. But maybe God wants you to work on your body to build your self-esteem naturally. To walk, to exercise, to jog, to eat healthy. Maybe God wants you to do it the right way so you can sustain it over time. A lot of these people who have had these in their bodies, you ever wonder spandex? You ever wonder why they can't wear clothes that are in sizes like a size 6, a size 7, a size 8? Everything they wear have to be elastic. Everything they wear have to be stretchy. They can't even put on a pair of jeans. You ever wonder why them people never wear shorts? Sometimes that stuff is cute in clothes, in long pants, long skirts, but they can't wear no shorts. They got lumps and bumps everywhere. I've seen the results in person of people who have had injections of silicone in their bodies. It's not cute, it's hard, it's lumpy, it's bumpy. You know, people don't wanna tell you the side effects of things that they're done that could possibly keep you from going down that same road. They wanna deceive people and make people think, oh, they are happy and they have self-esteem but they have endangered their health they have health issues from the from the things that they've decided to do they can't show their legs they they skin is all lumpy and bumpy and it look like the moon because they have silicone injections they didn't let somebody pump them up, and inject them with silicone. Don't look at what other people have and put those people on a pedestal and praise people. You don't know the depth and the lengths that people will go to to get what they want. They will risk their own lives don't risk your life like that young lady who was beautiful who had already had a, a bbl before and she had a year old yet and she wanted to do another bill and got on the table and her three children are here without a mother because she didn't make it Why are you letting the world define beauty for you? And you do these things to jeopardize your life and possibly leave your children and family members here without a loved one, without a mother, because you're willing to risk your life for a look that you're not willing to work out for that you're not willing to eat healthy for. I want to encourage you not to do that. I can't tell you what to do. It's your life. But you might be that 1%. You might be that 1% that don't make it off the table. Or don't make it past the three days after surgery. You might be that 1%. Whatever shape, whatever physique, whatever look you want, you can get it through exercise. But then, God made you. It, it don't mean you can't enhance your beauty, but don't enhance 
your beauty by destroying your beauty. Don't enhance your beauty by destroying your natural beauty to where you can't even go back to how you looked. You got to keep it up. Don't enhance your beauty till you don't even recognize God created. Anyway, let me pray. Father God, as we come to you right now, Lord Jesus, we thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you, Father God, for the things that you are doing in our lives, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the listening ears, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your word, your light, and your salvation, and the blood of your Jesus, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for leading us and guiding us and protecting us, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for being who we need you to be in our lives so that we can be who you want us to be, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your word that will direct our path. And we ask you to change our hearts, Father God, that we may be what you want us to be, that we may desire that we will take our eyes off of the things of this world and that we will put our eyes on you so that our desires can be pure and holy, so that our desires can be righteous, so that we can desire the things that are pure and righteous and holy, that we will take our eyes off of the things of the world that we won't even try to desire the things of the world to fit into the world. You said be in the world, but not of the world. And we ask you, Father God, to speak to those people right now who are being tempted by the things of the world to try to keep up with people in the world. To try to keep up with what the world say a woman's physique and body should look like. And they're doing things to endanger their own health to achieve that look. Give a self-esteem who has low self-esteem at themselves. When they look at what you created in the mirror, they are not happy with that. We ask you, Father God, to give them, to let them love and embrace who you've created them to be. And to not let the things that other people say about them impact them. And, and to not let them believe the lies of Satan. But to let them see the beauty that you've created in them. The beauty that you see in them. And show them, Father God... It's more important to have a heart of gold than to have the appearance on the outside. To have it all together when, the in, when in the inside they are truly broken. We ask you right now, Father God, to... Touch the heart of that person that is struggling with their weight, struggling with the way that they look. And we ask you, Father God, to come alongside them and to give them the motivation and the encouragement to work out, to exercise, to eat right. For the long haul, for their health, so that they can teach their children 
proper eating habits so their children won't have the same struggles that they have, Father God. Teach them and give them the encouragement to do it the right way, Father God so that they will have long lasting benefits and they will not have to jeopardize their health for an instant look. We thank you, Father God, for light, love, peace, joy, and happiness. And we give you all the praise and all the glory for everything that you've done and everything that you're about to do, Father God. And we rebuke Satan, Father God. We rebuke the attacks of Satan, Father God. We turn the enemy over to you, Father God. Every single person that opens their mouth to speak lies against us, Father God. Every single person that is working behind the scenes to try to come against us, Father God. We turn those people over to you. We know that you see all. We know that you hear all. We know you see every email. We know you see every phone. You see every members only video. We know you see every cash app that is being sent we know you we know you see the people that are being paid behind the scenes we know you see the people that have unforgiveness in their hearts that have caused this campaign of hate against me father god we know that you know who those people are we know that you know where the fault lies and we know father god that you will not allow them to get away with anything that they are doing. We trust that you will judge the wicked. We trust that you will close the mouth of Satan and that no lie will be forgotten. And that you will repay evil with evil and good with good. We stand on your word. We stand on Psalms 35. We stand on Psalms 109. We stand on Psalms 63. We stand on Psalms 64. We stand on Isaiah 15. We stand on your total word. And trust and believe that you will bring us through whatever it is we must go through, shining as pure gold. And we pray that our enemies will be led to repent. But you know, Father God, whether or not they will turn from or they will continue to dig in and press forward. And we know that before you allow them to hurt us, that you will stop them in their tracks. And they will fall into the pits and the traps that they have set for us. Prayer we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Bless you guys. I need to eat. Uh, I'm probably going to go live on Vanessa's Van Life Journey. Fix me some breakfast. So y'all leave some comments on this live stream. Let me know if you were in here. Uh, let me know what you think about today's message, today's prayer. If you have any uh, verses that you would like to add to anything that I said, you can leave them in the comments bar below. And you can also DM me on Instagram at Vanessa's Van Life Journey and pass those scriptures and Bible verses on to me if you don't want to do them on the channel. And also, please follow me on Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, follow me on those social medias at Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers, a thousand followers on TikTok so I can start going live over there and playing praise and worship music. So if you enjoy the prayers and you enjoy the messages, please follow me on Instagram.
Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok uh, at Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I really, really, really need you guys to follow me on TikTok so, because I'm trying to get to a thousand followers over there. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to continue to pray for my enemies. I'm going to continue to trust in God, believe in him and put him first in my life. Ain't nothing the devil could do to me. Ain't nothing the devil could say about me that is going to make me not hold my head up, not trust in God, not believe in him, and not continue to live my life to the glory of God. That's it. And that's all. And I will talk to you guys later. I appreciate y'all. Let me know in the comments bar below that you were here. And I'm going to heart your comment. And I'm probably going to go live on Vanessa's Saint Life Journey so I could eat. Or maybe not. Uh, I got to get up and get dressed and get my day started. So I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye now. Talk to you later.